Hey friends, hope you're doing well today. Uh, I wanna take just a moment and talk today a little bit about his place and some things that are ahead. Uh, you know, this fall, we've been really grateful for classes we've been able to offer and activities and coffee time and ways that we've been able to continue even in the midst of some adjustment. I'm also grateful for our His Kids team that even though they can't offer the after school program right now in the way that they normally do, they've been working so hard to find creative ways to support our schools and connect with families. Uh, earlier this fall, we helped purchase those plexiglass desk shields for Alma Public Schools. And and uh, there have been some creative ways to show appreciation for teachers along the way. I'm so grateful for the ministry that is happening through His Place. Uh, you know, His Place is at the heart of how our church uh, loves and serves our community. And I love seeing what God is doing through His Place. Now, I want to talk for a moment today about changes that will be ahead in the coming months because our staff team leading His Place will be changing. Now, Chris Sipka and Connie Biskey are an awesome team. They've been working closely together for many years, and, and I'm leaning in to work with both of them in this season of transition as well. Now, Connie Biskey has been on staff at his place for 19 years. Uh, what an awesome ministry she has there. And you may know that Connie and her husband, Doug, are planning to move in 2021 to West Michigan. Uh, that's where their kids and grandkids are. Uh, and so they're going to be heading that direction uh, this coming year. And in preparation for that, Connie uh, has, has determined that it's time for her to wrap up at his place. And so she will be finished on staff at Thanksgiving. Um, and Connie, we want you to know we love you and we thank God for you. And church family, I want to ask for your help. Would you uh, take some time during these next two weeks before Thanksgiving and would you send a card of love and appreciation to Connie? Just mail it to the church and address it to Connie. We'll make sure that she gets all of those cards that come in. Uh, let's take this time uh, to shower her with our gratitude uh, in the midst of this season. We are so grateful for Connie. Now, Chris Sipka has been on staff uh, as the director of his place for 25 years. And it's awesome to see the way that his place has been shaped um, by her ministry uh, over these years. Now, Chris is looking ahead to retirement. And so we want you to know that a search is underway for the next director of his place. And we've been very excited uh, and encouraged to have a number of awesome conversations with some great candidates from other places around the country. And, and I want to ask you if you would pray with us in this process. We're discerning right now who God might be calling here to help lead his place and to lead our efforts to reach and serve our community in new ways. So be praying with us for that search process. And you may be asking, what's the timeline uh, for that transition? Well, I'm so grateful that Chris Sipka is more uh, is most focused on a really great handoff uh, between herself and whoever our next director is. And she's more focused on that great handoff than she is a specific date on the calendar. So that means that the timing of this transition will depend upon when we identify that person and when that person is able uh, to come and begin uh, that ministry here. But we do expect that that will happen in 2021. We'll certainly keep you updated along the way as that process continues. You know, as I think about uh, all that has happened and is happening right now in this transition process at his place, there is so much to be grateful for. I think of all that God has done through that ministry since 1983 when it first began and how it's at the heartbeat of our church's mission. And I know that it will continue to be so as we walk into this next chapter as the Lord leads us together. Friends, if you have questions about any of this, would like to talk, please do reach out. I'm always so glad to hear from you. And please pray with us. I can hardly wait to see what God has in store.